very happy to have our next guest join us on the program. It is Martin Johnson, now part of the Night Game. Yes, sir. How you Welcome doing? back to San Francisco. It's great to be here. Beautiful day, raining. Yeah. Not, not, <laughs> not anything uh, new for the Bay yeah, Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've enjoyed my time here so far. This is not it's your first uh, rodeo. You've been on tour for years yeah, and yeah, years yeah, yeah. and years. How, how is touring now, being on the road now versus when you first started out? Um, humbling. Uh, you know, when you first start out, you're like, eight, I was 18 and just like green, you know, in the, the vinyl seats in the early 90s, Dodge 15 pass, just like I was so grateful for it. every little piece of, you know, it was just all so exciting. And now it's just like, oh, you know, I'm a little older and the drives feel a little longer and the, um, not as many girls following you around as... Well, yeah, it's just like it's, you know, the, the backstage area seems smaller and a little dirtier and the showers, you're like, maybe I'll wear flip-flops this time around so I don't get athlete's foot. And, oh, wow. You know, it's like, um, it's great. I'm, you know, you get to hum, get to do for work, like hum melodies and sing songs. It's like, I'm grateful. <laughs> You have been uh, kind of out of the public eye sure. for a little bit, yep. right? And for those that haven't been keeping up, you have been very active. I gotta yeah, say, yeah. it's amazing. It's wonderful doing a lot of co-writes with yeah. people that you know some people may know, like sure. Blink-182 and Taylor Swift. How did you transition from Boys Like Girls to, to writing. co-writing? Yeah, I mean, it was just like, I started writing with other people just to write, really, you know, like, uh, see how it would go and and uh, it kind of just but you know like blossomed into like a second career you know and um, something that I did and you know I love doing it. it's like playing a character you know it's like theater you know yeah. it's like being a part of somebody else's story you know um, I was certainly like feeling a void for telling my own story which is like why I wanted to make this record and separate myself from that for a minute but was, Did you um, feel less pressure? Did you feel like, like you like said, a, you could be part like of someone It's like a video else. game, you know what I mean? It's like you go in, it's a little bit more like a nine to five. It's like, okay, we're going to write a song today. You know, this is like, you know, when it's, when it's your own music, it's like a little bit more like of an emotional, like put yourself out there, put yourself on the table and, you know, being really connected to the results as opposed to just like, I've turned it in. This vocal is still a bit quiet for me. Working with someone like Kygo, who's yeah, yeah. very relevant today. How, sure, yeah, how did yeah, that fun. conversation happen? It was cool. I got called in to do a session. I had never met him and, uh, you know, went into Westlake Studio in L.A. and kind of wrote a song, like, within a couple hours. It was like, this song was kind of there. It was just like, just playing some big kind of sounding chords on the piano and finding its way. And the demo turned into what, you know, the, the version is. It was the same vocal, you know, that I, two hours after getting in the studio recorded, is the one that's out. But, um, fun, it's like really cool to collaborate with people like that because he does something that I do not do, you know what I mean? And that's, that's cool. But collaborating with somebody who does like the same kind of thing that you do is, can be great and interesting and you learn things, but I learned a ton about like how, you know, electronic dance music's made and what, what it's like and what they're doing on the machine and it was cool to see. It's cool to be a part of. You're a big Patriots fan. You. I know. Sung the you're welcome. You're there. welcome for for Jimmy. I was about it's going to be really, you know. I got a Tommy tattoo, so don't forget who trained him. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, uh, how do you? Uh, how did you feel after the Super Bowl? I was there. You're, yeah, I was there. I was in Minneapolis, and um, you know, I think that it's like it, w w the hardest thing was just just like I was disappointed in the urgency, the feeling. It's you know. You never know when it's going to be the last one of this kind of like dynasty, and you know um, it was hard. It's heartbreaking, you know. Yeah, yeah. Sports does that to you, you know. But I'm happy I mean, to see the Niners um, get a real team together. Yeah, looking good. Yeah. I wanted to thank you and the yeah, 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 ahead, yeah, you know. Yeah. There's that uh, San Francisco yeah. Boston connection. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah 100%. We're uh, very excited to hear the album. And cool. Can't wait yeah. for the show tonight. Too. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm excited for you to hear the album as well. I should be look look for it around early summer, around June. Yeah. Really appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks so much. It was wonderful talking to you. Yeah, appreciate it. Good to meet you. Yeah, we'll see you soon. It is uh, Martin Johnson, The Night Game. You're watching B-Sides on air.